So 6.2 is multiplying and dividing rational expressions found on pages 322 to 330 in your text. Our curriculum outcome is the same to expand and demonstrate understanding of rational expressions and equations up to and including degree two numerators and denominators, including equivalent forms of expressions, operations on expressions, and solving equations that can be simplified to linear or quadratic equations. And our lesson objectives today is just one, and that's to be able to simplify rational expressions that are multiplied or divided the same way that you would regular fractions. So remember that when multiplying fractions together in grade nines and 10, uh, it was sometimes easier to simplify the fractions before you actually multiplied them together. So for example, if we had 5 eighths multiplied by 4 fifteenths, we used to just factor it. So turn the eight into two times two times two into its prime factors. And then we're gonna multiply that by four fifteenths, which is the same as two times two over three times five. And then what we did was we could simplify by canceling out any factor that appeared in the top and the bottom. So that five and that five canceled out. There's two twos up here and that would cancel out with two twos on the bottom. And so what we ended up with was everything canceling out on the top, that would give you a one and then just two times three on the bottom, which is one sixth. So we're actually able to multiply these two fractions together without actually having to multiply um, big numbers together and then simplify at the end. So we're gonna follow the same principles. We're gonna simplify your numerators and denominators by factoring first, then cancel out factors that appear in both the numerator and denominator. And remember to state at your restrictions before, and that's keyword before you start simplifying, before you start canceling stuff out. So here's our example. It says y squared minus nine over r cubed minus r times r squared minus r divided by y plus three. So you're gonna wanna factor first. Always factor these things out first. So the top part is a difference of squares, y minus three, y plus three. The bottom part, we can take out a greatest common factor and we get r times r squared minus one. And then that's multiplied by, on the top over here, we can take out a greatest common factor, that's r times r minus one. And on the bottom, we still have y plus three. Now, we can still um, factor this because that's still a difference of squares. So we have y minus three over y plus three over r times r plus one and r minus one multiplied by r times r minus one and y plus three. So, and so now we're going to state our non-permissible value. So things that our variables cannot be. Since we have r all by itself as one of our factors in the denominator, that means that r cannot equal zero. Because if it did, we'd get a zero in the bottom. r plus one means that r cannot equal negative one. Because if it did, we'd get a zero in the bottom. If r equaled positive one, we'd get a zero with that factor. So we know that r can't be zero, negative one, or positive one, and y, cannot be negative three, because if that was the case, we get a zero in the bottom over here. Now that we've stated our restrictions and our, or what we call our non-permissible value, which is the same thing as restrictions, we can cancel things out. So we have a y plus three over here and a y plus three. Remember that you can only cancel out entire um, factors. So you can't just cancel out this y with a y somewhere over there. It has to be the y plus three is canceling out. We have an r and an r, so that cancels out. And we have r minus one and r minus one. And in the end, we are left with just y minus three over r plus one. And that's as simple as this um, expression gets. Also remember that when you divide fractions, you need to take care, take the reciprocal. Also remember that when you divide fractions, you need to take the reciprocal, which is just flip the numerator and the denominator of the fraction after the dividing sign and then multiply those fractions together. Those are just rules that we use when we were dividing regular fractions. These rules will apply with polynomials in rational expressions. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna factor this thing first and taking into account that this is divided. So we're gonna say this is a three times x plus four. And over here, we're gonna have to use decomposition to figure out those factors. So off to the side here, I'm gonna decompose three x squared minus five x minus 12. 3 times negative 12 is negative 36. So now I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to negative 36 but add to negative 5. And those two numbers would be negative 9x and positive 4x. Now I take out a greatest common factor here. I get 3x. I'm taking it out of the first two terms. And I get x minus 3 left over. I take out a 4 and I get x minus 3, which is a good sign because I want to have those same two factors here. So I get x minus 3 and 3x plus 4. So that means 3x squared minus 5x minus 12 can just be replaced with x minus 3 
and 3x plus 4. Now, since I see this is divided, I can flip this, uh, this expression right here and make it a multiplying question, which is always a good idea. And this expression, because it's multiplied, just remains the same, but I can still take out a greatest common factor of 2, and then I get x minus 3 all over x plus 4. Now we have to make sure to find our non-permissible values, so we go through all the factors on the bottom, wherever we see an x. So x minus 3 means that x cannot equal 3. 3x plus 4 means that x cannot equal, maybe we'll have to do it the long way, 3x plus 4 cannot equal 0, which means 3x cannot equal negative 4, which means x cannot equal negative 4 thirds. And then this x plus 4 means that x can't equal negative 4. So now if we found our non-permissible values, we've changed the dividing into a multiplying, and we factored everything, we can just start canceling out factors if they appear on the top and the bottom. So we had an x minus 3 here, x minus 3 there, they cancel out. We have an x plus 4 up here and an x plus 4 down there, they cancel out. We have a 3x plus 4 here and a 3x plus 4 there. And then we're left with 3 times 2, which is the same thing as 6, divided by 12, which means our final answer when we simplify it is just plain old half. So you need to be able to factor, you need to be able to um, flip a fraction when you're dividing by that fraction, and then you need to be able to state your non-permissible values or your restrictions, and then cancel things out that appear on the top and the bottom. So in summary, you multiply and divide rational expressions the same way that you multiply and divide fractions. You factor first, then cancel out common factors, and remember to flip the fraction after a dividing sign. And also remember that you state your non-permissible values or your restrictions after you factor, but before you start simplifying. So your assignment is on pages 327 to 330. Good luck, and we'll see you in class.